Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic was just announced and alongside this announcement we just got our first teaser and our first look at the Mimic. And even more recently we just got our first look at the gameplay of Secret of the Mimic from a demo that fans were able to enjoy and experience. And it's this demo that is the key to helping us explain where the Mimic has been throughout the franchise. And because Secret of the Mimic takes place so early on in the franchise, this means that the Mimic had to have been somewhere in the background in every single FNAF game. And I think I found the Mimic in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator or FNAF 6. So in this video, I'm going to go over why a simple drawing in FNAF 6 is the key to finding the Mimic and why the Mimic has always been in the background hiding in plain sight. Now the whole idea behind this theory is the fact that because FNAF Secret of the Mimic will take place in the year 1979 as we learn from the teaser trailer, that means means it's the earliest game in the timeline with it taking place 4 years before FNAF 4. And because it's the earliest game in the franchise, that means the Mimic has been around since the very beginning, which also means that we should be able to find the Mimic in different periods throughout the franchise. Now I don't think we can necessarily find the Mimic himself in any of these games, but we should be able to find references or easter eggs to this character that hint how the Mimic was always in the franchise but he was just hidden in plain sight. And a perfect example of this so far is Game Theory's latest theory on the Mimic. I'm sure by now many of you have seen Game Theory's video where he explains why this paper play is actually a direct reference to the Mimic. Now I recommend watching the full video to understand this idea and theory, but for a quick recap of that video, it's believed that this paper play is supposed to be a direct reference to the Mimic as it was based off of him. The paper pals consist of Freddy as it has his ears in bow tie, Bonnie as it has his ears in colors, but the third and last paper pal feels out of place as it doesn't resemble any of the other animatronics. They could have included any other paper pal based on an animatronic, like a paper pal for Foxy or Chica, but this paper pal specifically was added to the group even though it doesn't resemble any of the other animatronics. But again, what if it's supposed to resemble the Mimic and we just didn't know at the time until now? This also means that during this time period of Fazbear's Entertainment, the three main animatronics of the company consisted of Freddy, Bonnie, and of course, the Mimic. In the video, they also point out how in FNAF World, one of the paper pal's abilities is to mimic the opponent's last attack. So what if this ability is a direct callback to the Mimic and his ability to mimic Mimic others. It's also worth pointing out how this paper pal is the only one of the group that can randomly move and appear in your office, which just adds more importance to this specific paper pal. Now this is a great theory that connects FNAF 2 to FNAF Secret of the Mimic and Ruin, and I also believe that a similar connection can be made to the Mimic and to Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator or FNAF 6. I think we can find the Mimic in the form of random background animatronics and background drawings, starting with this Juice Fountain Clown. It's our first direct reference to a clown and circus. It's an animatronic that can be bought in the catalog and added to the pizzeria. Now although it is a clown, I don't think this is where we can find the Mimic. Comparing his design to the Mimic's design, they are just too different and it feels like the Fountain Clown is supposed to have a broad design on purpose that isn't supposed to be connected to anything. Which is why I think we instead find the Mimic in a drawing in the main office, this clown drawing. Now this might just seem like a random poster in the office that wouldn't have a connection to the Mimic, but I think it's so much more than that. I think this is where we find the Mimic in FNAF 6. When comparing both their designs, there's obviously a strong similarity. They both have a red nose with a red smile and they both have red hair, but by no means are they exactly the same. But what really caught my attention are the fact that they both have yellow eyes, a prominent feature on both of them and this would just be another way of connecting them. But originally when the clown poster was added to the FNAF 6 office, of course the intention wasn't to connect it to the Mimic, as he wasn't introduced until years later with the Tales from the Pizzaplex novels. All this is, is a way to explain the Mimic's presence in the franchise without changing or adding any lore, and this drawing is a perfect way to do it. It was actually confirmed that this was a random poster added for just this office, meaning it doesn't intertwine with any lore or story from the games, so it could be used for any interpretation and purpose. So what if we use this poster as a way of showing the Mimic's influence into the pizzeria? This is a drawing that exists in the real world of FNAF, meaning it was drawn by some child or person. So what if this someone knew of the Mimic's existence and of its existence when its appearance resembled the clown, which inspired them to make this drawing which was then later hung up in the office? If we do come to to this conclusion, it wouldn't interfere with any lore from the franchise and it's a perfect way to connect the Mimic to this game and to the greater FNAF timeline. So again, I believe that this drawing is of the Mimic from the Secret of the Mimic. But I'm sure that before I even came to this conclusion, many of you have already pointed out the fact that this drawing is actually supposed to be a reference to Circus Baby. In the alleyway of the lefty segment, we can find this poster with the same clown. We also see a ventriloquist, his puppet, and a bear. Now this is clearly supposed to represent the Afton family. 
Finally, William Afton is the ventriloquist and in the head of his family. The puppet is supposed to be Michael Afton as he copies William Afton's actions and even literally becomes the purple guy. The bear is supposed to represent the crying child as Fredbear was the animatronic that killed him. And Elizabeth Afton is supposed to be the clown as it resembles Circus Baby who is also a clown, meaning the drawing in the office is supposed to be Circus Baby. Now this is a strong argument that could easily be 100% the case, and the only way I can dismiss it is the fact that in this drawing the clown is alone. I think it makes the most sense that it only represents Circus Baby when she's with her family, when she's with her father, her brothers, so why would this drawing of just her represent Circus Baby? Again, it could easily represent Circus Baby, but this drawing would be much more impactful and interesting if it represented the mimic. A new character that has supposedly been here since the very beginning, it would just explain a lot and again it gives this drawing so much purpose with it being a reference to the mimic. So in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, this drawing of a clown is actually supposed to represent and be a hint to the mimic. Because of their similar designs, and especially because of their same yellow eyes, the Mimic has always been in FNAF 6 in the form of this clown drawing. And if this clown drawing does represent the Mimic, it wouldn't interfere with any past or new lore. But of course, this is just a theory. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I attempt to find the Mimic in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator. Remember, nothing in this video is confirmed and everything is just speculation, so what do you guys think? Where is the Mimic in FNAF 6 and is he even present in this game? So make sure to like and and subscribe for more content like this and thank you guys so much for watching.